Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right. We got a little bit of soul land reloaded up today, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the account for the first basis. We've got 30 billion moving through, working up. I, as mentioned before, I've got my main team all triple S's. Okay. So you for attacking, evil after attacking, uh, Ling Ling support and of course the tank we've got in now um uh the first one to go to battle corp will of course be evil eye so i'm going to be looking for you know they're coming out with the sp characters here in global um in about two weeks will be the first um release for the actual sp characters so we'll be replacing that you know of course i've got enough to build one up so uh, we'll be replacing him. He's yeah, don't worry. He's not bad. If you're a newer player, Evil is exceedingly exceedingly good source. Has excellent survivability. Um, you won't have to worry about him at all. But uh, his SP character is going to have a higher base, so I'm able to get more damage from it. That's what basically what it amounts to. Um, so that's what I'll be doing for that. Um, and then after that, you know, we'll, we'll make decisions uh, based on the characters that you know as they come out. But for right now, that's where we're at. Time limit events. Two of them. We've got a soul bone event and an extended bone event. So what does that mean? That means that you need to be going for the soul bone chest right here. And you need to try to get 150 of them. You will not have 150. You will have to utilize uh, the actual diamonds to get 150 pools. It's not 150 times 10. It's 150 in total. Okay, um, so you're gonna look at 1,800 for each 10. Okay, so you're probably looking at, you're probably gonna be anywhere between um, 18, you know, probably about 18,000 is what is which it's what it's probably gonna take diamond wise for most people. You're gonna have between 40 and 50 keys uh, and you're gonna have to pull for the last 100. Okay, so just make sure, yeah, but you should have the diamonds for it. Because you definitely want to do this because this is really the only way to consistently from a free-to-play perspective this is the only way to consistently get any of the phoenix divine blood so i've got 140 right there and then 151 right there always do 10 pulls because you get uh, doomstones uh, automatically on a temple 10 draw guarantees a doomstone so extended soul bone you want to do the exactly the same thing but as you can see we do have a little bit more of those however I'm not exactly sure if this might be something for everybody. I'm not really pleased with the reward that you get. Claim. 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 And then here's what we're going for, the 60 Divine Blood. Divine Blood is needed to take your SS plus soul bones up to SSS, so you will need them. I'm not too happy with ex with this extended bone chest event. Uh, you only get 20 of these for doing a 10 times 10 pool, which is not you know it's not going to cost me anything. I have enough to do it, uh, but still, it's you know it's 100. It's a it's 100 is what it is. Uh, but only 20. I'd like to see this at least like 40, or at least 60 maybe. I don't understand why they're only doing 20, but I'll probably do it just to get it so they've got those two up in there but you definitely want to do the pool uh, for the actual um, definitely want to do the pool for the uh, soul bone to get that divine blood I I'm working on doing the second I'm working on my secondary sets so I've got um, all of Hughes all over to triple S okay a and I'm working on in Ming right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish him up uh, that's the goal. So this is basically inside of the upgrade. So to take an SS plus to triple S, you need um, you need to actually have this, the the soul bone, uh, the Phoenix Divine Blood. But it takes you know it takes quite a bit. You only get in this event you're only going to get 15 from diamonds. Uh, so to get you know to get the 90 that you need, that's that could literally take you six to eight months but you can bang 60 
uh, straight out of that event every time they have that event up. And that's going to give you, plus the 15 that you get for free, that's going to give you 75 right there. So you're well on your way to achieving what you need to. So if you look at the time limited sale, you'll see that they have the free ones. So they do have them in here for 50 for 15. So you want to get these, of course, as well. But that's only 15. Okay. Uh, the only other way to get it is, of course, money. You can, of course, spend. It is a, uh, it is an item that you can get. They don't even give it. They give the spider core inside the login where don't have any divine blood in there. So basically, the only way to get it is through the time limited sale. They can get some in a time limited pop up. Uh, none in the rebates. Uh, and then uh, none in the special sale. Get a hundred in the uh, accumulate for fruit section. So there's ways to get it, but it's only the only way to get it is 15 with diamonds and then 60 from the chest. So that's pretty much what you're going to have to do. And as you can see, it it takes quite a bit of diamonds, but you should be having enough. There really hasn't been anything going on right now uh, that's heavy on the diamonds. Uh, such as a soul beast or a um, or any type of divine tool. The divine tool shards are exceedingly expensive. Um, but um, they've had a little bit of a space between that. So hopefully they won't be throwing up a divine tool here in the next couple of days. Uh, allow me a chance to build this back up. Okay, so that's what you want to go for. And that's under time limited. So soul bone, extended soul bone. I'm glad that they're having these at a, at a pretty clip, you know, good pace. Um, so that we can get these and get these all. Uh, triple S up and remember soul bones are interchangeable so don't be scared just make sure it's a red soul bone okay don't be don't don't waste time on the the yellow ones uh, and the orange ones that you can purchase inside of the shop um, you know that they're, they're the best set is the attack set and it's the red set okay it's uh the red set this is the red set I'll show you face uh, let me get to one of the characters that has it. Base. This is the red set. So make sure you get the red set. Okay. Um, I guess it's not easy to obtain. You can only get it in chests, but it is in. They do have several of those available inside of the um, time limited sale. You can get 15 right here. Okay. Um, at, so there's ways to get them. Uh, you, can, you, you generally see these in any type of event. You'll see some. It's not hard to get. Okay, so just make sure you focus on getting the chest whenever you see it. And you'll be able to build a set fairly quickly. Okay, and then just build that set. And just make sure that that, you know, don't waste, you know, the, the you know, the the HP set, I believe, is the, the, the yellow is the HP set. And the orange is the defense set. I could be. I could be backwards on that, but uh, yeah, it just go for the attack set. Okay, it's the you know it's the best one on the market, which is why they don't offer it in the shops. Um, as I've always said, you want to know what the best item is for any of the particular listings of items that they have. You just look and see what's available in the shop and what's not available in the shop, uh, and that's going to tell you. Okay, this is the shop for soul bones. Okay, they got these in here. This is the orange and the yellow. Okay, so that right away should tell you which soul bone sets the best. It's going to be the one that's not offered in the shop, which is the red one. Uh, so, um, plus you should be using your funds for this uh, to get the um, spirit source uh, and the doom stones because you will need those all throughout the rank up. Um, so, uh, yeah, better stuff to spend it on instead of spending it on these. You know, that's all. You know, it's all right to use those at the beginning when you when you don't have any, but just focus on getting a red set as soon as possible uh, and just wor worry on bringing those up all right so that's that's where we're at at that so soul bone extended soul bone nothing uh, nothing on the actual desktop after that okay just standard events uh, for that you know normal modes your purchase stands just make sure to clear all this you should have your free VIP um, they gave they gave free the free they gave a free activation for this two of them, um, so you should have this for at least quite some time. Uh, yeah, it was really nice that they offered a, a card inside of the event. That's that's something that most games don't do. 
Um, but yeah, definitely so got that card. Uh, and then renew it when it's about to expire. You should have gotten two cards. Okay. Growth fund, we're getting really close to where we need to be uh, for the free VIP. We are at 589, 67, 11 days. We will be able to claim 50,000 XP. I'm hoping this will be enough to take me up to 13. It should be. Uh, and then we'll be able to obtain uh, one more length inside of the actual weekly pack here. Be able to get the 12,000 um, soul power crystals with that. Okay. So, yeah. Not exactly. You, know, you would think that it's got higher into the VIPs here. Uh, like in the 20, they give us something that's a little bit more concrete but since this occurs on a weekly basis they don't want to give something that's that high end because you'll be getting it every week okay because this resets every Monday uh, and then you can purchase it uh, and I do purchase it every Monday so um, so they're keeping it a little bit on uh, on, the, on the light side but this is nice um, the 160 for the CD lead track that will help out inside of the tyrant uh, inside of the uh, uh, treant I'm sorry not the tyrant tyrants inside of the sec boss Okay, so that's where we're at for that. But I did just want to let you know that they do have that up. So go ahead and participate. I would participate in both if you're a new player. Um, we're working on, you know, the soul. The, you need those. The, the extended bone event is really good. Um, these are, you know, big, I'm, I'm trying to find a way. Um, they're not going to, you're not going to be able to take these to S, triple S. Okay, C God sets will not be triple S, I don't think. Uh, and that's purely because they're offering an SSS set. If you look inside of your bag and go into your soul bones, if you participated in an event that they had about, I think it was about two months ago, they offered this right here. This is the right Terraclaw shard and the left Terraclaw shard. This is the extended bone for the triple S. This is a triple S item. Okay, so they... Um, it's the next item in the level. So I don't think they're going to allow you to take the Sea Gods up to Triple S. You will have to make a new set inside of that. So keep that in mind. But the Sea God set is what you want to go for um, until we start seeing. I assume that we'll start seeing more of these. Free. I'm holding off right now because I want to see. Uh, I don't know which one to put it in. I have enough to make one, and I'll have five left over, but I, I, I want to wait until I have enough to make two so I can make a full set. Uh, and then I'll start playing games with it and working on leveling it up and see how it works. So I'm holding off on that uh, at this particular time. Uh, but that, yeah, so they do have that. So I don't think the Sea God set's going to be able to go to Triple S. So just max it out as best as you can. Okay, it's an extended bone, so you can move it to another character. So as you start making the the, uh, the terror claws and start bringing them up, you can move the sea god sets off uh, and replace it with the terror claw set and move that up like that. Okay. Uh, so don't worry about you know messing up. It's like I said, you can always get the stuff back in this. If you mess up, don't worry about it. You can usually dissolve the shards and get it back. So don't you know don't panic too much in terms of that. So that's everything that's up on top. Nothing else. So this is going to be running up for another couple of days. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have a Master Forge event. Uh, I know several people have been asking about that. That we're due for one here shortly. Okay, so keep an eye on it. This uh, The Master Forge event is an excellent place to get. Something that we all need to get when we get up into levels like this. And that is a triple S set of Immortal Herbs. Okay, this is what you want to go for. So this is, yeah, this is the highest set. So you have to have all three triple S to make it. You can't get the passive. You can't put a mountain snow in here and then put something else, SS or another S or in here. It won't work. These three have to go together in the set. Okay, so that's 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 the triple S set. And that's what you want to go for. You can um, get them inside of the Master Forge event. And generally you can get enough for a whole set. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of them. I believe it's 130 to make one. I'm pretty sure it's 130 a piece.
130. Yeah, so you to make three of them, so 130, 263, 90. So it's going to take 390. As you can see, I'm working, I've got 115 in bag. Okay. Um, and then I've got the ones that I've added on to that have just been got from various events. Okay. So um, I can make a full set. Uh, I can't make a full set. I can make one of them right now and put a dent in another. But I'm hoping in the Master Forge event I can grab enough chests so that I will be able to make a second set uh, and start applying those and working on getting those up. Okay, and as always, don't fret. It's a mortal herb. You can move it to another player. It's not once you. It's not stuck to a player. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can level it up, make it as strong as you want, and move it to another player whenever the time comes. Okay, that's what I did with uh, Ling Ling. I put a lot of the stuff that was on uh, Tang San onto her when I moved her over. Okay, so when I put her in the set, I took a lot of the stuff that I had on him and put it on her. Okay, some of it, not all of it, because he uh, was looking for a little bit different, a little bit different, um, and what I had as a requirement. <laughs> so, um, but I did for the most part uh, take the soul bones and and put them on there. Okay, so that's where we're at with that. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, I am in sac I, I am in the um, God Sacred inside of the Soul Force right now. So uh, you get you start get buffs when you start getting up in there. So that's pretty nice to, to buff the team. So uh, wait for the next event. I'll have a video in a few days when we come out with the next event, uh, whatever it's going to be. Uh, but definitely go ahead and participate in these events. You know, uh, and we'll start seeing, you know, with the next character coming out, we'll start seeing with the SP. So I said in the last video, this will be the first SP character here in a few weeks. Uh, they did an event with Evil Eye Die. They made it so that you get him fairly easy and get a bunch of shards for him to start building up his um, divine skill. I'm hoping they'll do the same thing with the SP character. It'd be nice to get a free SP to start off with. Uh, Evil Eye was far superior to the SS Plus characters. So I'm assuming that this first SP character is going to be far superior to the Triple S characters um, in terms of base stats and, and what they do. Uh, we've already seen the designs. I've shown you some of the thumbnails that I've been using. I've been pulling those from the SP designs from the Asia server. Uh, they did a really good job on uh, for the graphical enhancements, so it's going to look really nice. But we'll have to wait and see exactly uh, how they do it. Uh, so far, they've been pretty much pegging... Uh, Asian server with our global so uh, hopefully they'll continue uh, continue doing that and uh, we'll be able to plan ahead if we need to so we'll have the next video in a few days uh, don't forget the red pocket red packet drop is up you should be able to uh, snatch up I got 1676 today eh, it might give me the top three but probably not we'll have to see be nice to get my hands on some of the shards but um, for the characters, but uh, 1676 is pretty low. We'll have to see. Other than that, we don't have anything else, as I've said. So that's it, and that's all I've got. All right. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. You'll see the bell. Click on it. You get notified each time I drop a video. Miss Kenrick coming at you from the corner. Signing out.